up, guys? Welcome to In The Box Collection. This is your boy, Francis. So, today, I went to the store. I saw the Joel and B tents. And I'm like, oh, no, I don't have the tent. I got to get it added to my collection. So, I bought the tent. But after I bought that one, or after I was, you know, picked it up from the shelf, I'm like, ma'am, Zion is just there by himself. So, I got the Zion, too. So, that way, Zion would not be by himself. So, now I got two Zions. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm already buying basketball. Why not, you know, get a little more into it. And then I was like, oh, boom, God, good win champions. I have never really opened this. Maybe we can put like MJ Auto. So yeah, and I figured, hey, it's Thursday. It's like throwback Thursday. How about we open up some packs and some uh, NBA sports that, I don't know, ever since Mosaic uh, came out, ever since Mosaic and NBA Hoops came out, people don't really talk about um, any of this products anymore. So this is your boy Francis. This is in the box selection. And this is your throwback Thursday rip, right? See if we can do this, you know, a little bit of pass reps and things like that. I don't know. Maybe we can pull some fire in a bit of a throwback. There's an A in the back. I like Caruso Silver. That's a hit, kind of. Isaac Accor, maybe like not now, but back then. I mean, one thing that I do enjoy about like ripping things that, you know, from the past is like what was a hit back then that is not a hit now. Uh, the boy AO looks pretty off center. Not bad though. Uh, Prism basketball has been rough to me. You guys can see my previous videos, or even on a throwback Thursday, it's still being pretty rough. You know, <coughs> but who knows? My luck might change one day, someday. Pull that, you know, rare Kate Cunningham, Dwight Howard, LA Lakers team with a Philly uniform on a red, white, and blue, and that Jason Preston. A rookie car for the uh, Clippers. Not bad. Yeah. But um, overall, aside from the fact that I'm, I always spend too much on parts, not bad. Also, like, the fact that it's retail is kind of a little odd sometimes. But um, unfortunately, there's not a local hobby store close to my house. The closest one is about 45 minutes away, which is kind of like my biggest challenge to when it comes to getting, like, brand new product. It's really hard for me to get brand new products. I have to order it. Even when I pre-order it, it still, you know, I have to wait like a ton of days for it. So usually, unfortunately, it is what it is. All I got is retail. So the plan is for me to, you know, eventually open up my own store. So that way, I'll leave the MB for last since that's kind of like the one that, you know, a bit of a PC one. So ideally, uh, with the plan being, you know, we got some things in place so that way one day we can open up our own hobby shop. So that way it's going to be a lot easier for me not just to get new product and to keep it in store, but also actually, yeah, that, that is actually it. It's going to be a lot easier for me to get new product and keep it in store because I'll have my own hobby store. In my opinion, that would be pretty dope. I mean... If I had my own store, would I still buy, you know, retail products? Fuck yeah. Retail is always fun. Retail is always a fun rip. I mean, De'Aaron Fox Silver. I mean, at least he's still with the he's still with the Sacramento Kings for now. You know, NBA trade deadline is coming around and around the corner. So yeah. Um I think it's a it's people don't people that like that record videos and some things like that. Sometimes that it's not it's, it's kind of challenging, not just like ripping, you know, setting up the uh, setting up the studio with it's like usually your phone. But the biggest challenge has to be like finding saving Lee Green off center a little bit, a little off center. But it's OK, though. I think it's like our first hit aside from the base. Kate and Jalen Green on this throwback Thursday videos. I'm not saying that I can see why some people forgot about this product, but I can see why some people forgot about this product. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, what was I saying? I want my own store, so please buy my parts so that way I have funding so one day I can open up my own, you know, hobby store. Fucking Vernon Carey. Vernon Carey Jr., LaMelo. <laughs> even, even on a throwback, I'm still pulling anything but LaMelo Ball. LeBron James on the Airscape for it. Um, so far, like, there's not that big glamour when it comes to some of this product. Or not really the product, some of the players. Because, what, this is, what, a, a class of basketball players that we have seen already. So we know that the potential they had back then may not be 
the potential they had now. Like Sabin Lee may have been a, a bit of a big hit on that green prism as a number. No, it's not a number. May have been a bit of a hit back then, but nowadays he's just like some rotational guy for the uh for the Detroit Pistons. Is he, is he with the Detroit Pistons? I don't even know. But you know, back then it could have been a hit. Right about now, um, not so much. So speaking of that, uh, actually I have never actually opened a Goodwin Championship. Um so what is this? We got so I guess this is a bit of a new opening for it. Yeah. We got one, two, three, four, five, six packs and a special silver pack. Cool. Michael Jordan. Here we go. I see I got bought some doing cards but never like opened it myself. So um for the guys and the people that are still, you know, watching the video and listening to it on uh, whatever, you know, rant I'm going on or whatever tangent I'm talking about. I do like Sabrina though. Oh, this is not uh not what I thought it was going to be like. But we got Sabrina, you're an SQ. You're Liberty, I believe. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, now we get to a whole bunch of people that I may not know who they are. But really nice cards or upper deck. They're not... I don't know. They're not great because they're more like paper cuts. Like I could print this myself in a sense. Come on, go in. Now it's not what I was expecting. Oh, Ansu Fati, though. Uh, plays for Spain. I like him. I like the sideway cards. I like the the horizontal, or horizontal vertical cards. I don't know whether, whatever link you're looking at for it. But, yeah, okay. So, like I said, thank you guys for listening to all of my rants. And for, you know, sticking through with me as I, you know, do what I do. And I, I enjoy doing it, which is also great. Um, remember, guys, try to enjoy the things that you do. So, Goodwood Champions, it looks like it has a lot of, like, celebrities and people that... Like, there's, a, there's a volleyball player. There's a Brie Baker, who's a ch chef. Uh, we have Mike Mencius, that's a trainer. I'm guessing this must be one of the inserts or parallels. I don't know who you are, Mike, but I like the color behind it. That looks pretty cool. But, um, looking at some of these products, some of the older product in a sense... For it. I like this Ken Griffey. Um, kind of gives you a bit of a reflection of like, you know, first of all, that it's been a few years since this drop. We're pretty old. Some sports. So what I'm getting into, my real question is, what is one car or player or maybe like a product that you guys thought, you guys bought, invested in, or, you know, I don't know. There was somebody out there buying a whole bunch of saving Lee at some point in time. Because he was supposed to be the next big thing. Adley Rushman Baseball for the Orioles. Um, also, this product is probably not licensed. Which, yeah. It's okay, though. Ben Simmons. Nobody's in uniform. Nobody, no team names. Um, it doesn't even say that he even plays for like the Philadelphia 76ers. But what year is it? This is uh, yeah, 2021. Yeah, so it should have happened. Yeah. Now he's playing with the Brooklyn Nets. So, yeah, what is one player or one sport or one team that you guys invested in? Put your money, hard earned money, into it, and then it just never played out. Uh, one good example for me would be Justin Herbert. Um, they were up 27 0. I had all my Herbert slaps, rookies, everything. What is this? This is Omnibu? Okay, uh. Do we sleeve it? Do we top load it? Is this... I am deeply, like, flabbergaster by this whole concept of Omni Omnibu. What is Omnibu? Where does he come from? Upper deck. Somebody that rips Goodwin Champion. Is this supposed to happen? Yeah, I'm guessing, yeah, it's just a bear. That's it. It's just a, it's just a, just a bear. Okay. Uh, the, do I play with the queen? Is the queen of bears? Queen Diamonds Bears? Okay, so we're just going to put that right there. So, back to what I was saying before the bear just completely entirely just did what it did to me. Who is that? Um, it's a fucking bear. Bro. Anybody else? Cool. But, yeah. What is one team, one sport, one player that you guys, like, put all your hard-earned money in, you guys PC collect it, and then boom. Just nowhere. Like I said, one guy for me was uh, Justin Herbert. Yeah. 
And I became extremely frustrated, not because, I mean, I guess because it didn't sell, but because, my God, you were tw up 27-0, and you guys lost. Like, I was going to make... I was going to make some good lunch money right there. Not just on the benefits for it, but, like, even even if, like, you know, I think also, like, when you, when you like, invest, invest into cards and things like that, we have another weird, colorful, good one thing. Oh, John Tafer. I like his show. Uh, what's it called? Build a Bar? Barcode? Bard? Fix My Bar? Something like that? I like I like him. I don't. I think he's all fake, but I like him. Josh Giddy today. We have media personality, Raul. Is it number? Is it some type of tops chrome into it? Media personality, because anybody knows who this guy is? I mean, that jacket, though. That fur. He got the fur. Kamala Harris. I don't know if you guys do love Kamala Harris, though. Jalen Green. That's cool. So, yeah. So, my guy was uh, Justin Herbert. Not saying that I spent a ton of money into Justin Herbert, but maybe I did. And it just did not plan out. So I got frustrated and I sold all my Jalen Hurts, all my Jalen, uh, Justin, all my Justin Herbert for uh, very cheap. This is Blue Prism? Pete! Politic. Why does he have a car? I don't understand. I mean, I like it, but I'm just confused by good win champion and what the inspiration is. Miles Bridges, basketball, the old world. Not number to silver for it, but I, I like it. I like this. We'll put a sleeve on it. Um, I still think the bear is probably still the, the hit so far. And we, last but not least, we do have the whole reason why we bought everything, which is uh, Joel B, which is weird because I'm not a Joel B fan. But I do like the NBA tents. It's probably uh, as a collector's item, like something that I truly collect would definitely be the, the NBA tents. Like, I just... I think they go very well with my wall or on my wall. Like, you know, I think once you find a hobby or even as a collector, you got to find like things that you like, things that you keep. The NBA tents are probably one of my, one of my favorite collector's items, I guess, in a sense. And like I said, this Joel and B is going to go right here or probably somewhere on the wall. Go in with the rest of them. I'm still missing a few. Uh, I think there's a Dame Lillard somewhere out there. And I'm going to try to pick it up next time I see it. I saw it and I thought I had it. And I'm like, oh, man, I got back home. And I'm like, nope. Rodney Hood. Boy. Trailblazers. Clint Capella. Who's he? Who's he playing for? Uh, the last time I saw him, he was playing for the uh, Hawks, I think. Gary Harris, now with the Orlando Magic. But, yeah. How are you guys doing? Cash is Winston in the back. On a purple, Kyle Lowry. Miles Bridges, Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes is having a bit of a breakout season if you guys are watching basketball. Uh, Cash, is Winston, Cash is Winston for the Washington Wizards on a purple. Uh, looks like it has a little stretch right there because, you know, when it comes to Panini, they only mess up on the hits. We do optic and play some last. Maybe we'll pull something good. Who knows? Not very good so far. <laughs> so we got some Cam Reddish, Harrison Barnes. Ray John Rondo, seeing his team with the Hawks, and Trey Young, my house. Silver, though, so it's definitely a plus. And last but not least, last pack, last pack, best pack. Let's pull some LaMelo, some Anthony Edwards, somebody from this class? Nope, nope, nobody. Chicago Bulls saving Lee again, Jaden McDaniels, and Devontae Granham. But like I said, I believe the real hit on it was definitely the 10. This is your boy Francis. This is in the box collection. This is your throwback Thursday. How do you feel about this product? We ripped some NBA optics, some hoop, some prism. Um, and we also ripped some good win champions, also select, and some more prism. So what do you guys think about it? Do you guys think that uh, what was good back then is not very good now? Also, please, guys, there's a there's a bear on a car. And I can't stop looking at it. It's actually, it looks pretty dope. I I think I'm in love. All right, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your boy, Francis. Thank you guys for watching. In the box selection. And yeah. Oh, yeah, guys, comment your Super Bowl predictions. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? It is that time of the year. Let's go.